Tash Delek, this is Tibet This Week, a weekly news feature on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the Central Tibetan Administration. Let's look at today's headlines. His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration congratulate Speaker Kevin McCarthy. UN experts express serious concern over China's systematic assimilation policy in Tibet. Sikyo emphasizes on diversified and thriving Tibetan private commerce. First ever Tibetan IT Professionals Conference convenes in Dharamshala. Chorik Dzingkyong School in Belgium organizes Children's Cultural Evening in Brussels. Four Tibetan youths and founder of Pecha Initiative Tibet Awareness meet in North America. Representative Bawa calls on Taiwanese Parliamentary Group for Tibet's Chair Freddie Lim. Representative Dr. Arya presides over handing and taking over of Tibetan Community Japan board members. Sirka screens Art of Hope by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. On Sunday last week, His Holiness the Dalai Lama has written a note of congratulation to Kevin McCarthy of the House of Representatives and Hakim Jeffries, House Democratic Leader, on their victories in the recent elections to their respective post. In the letter, His Holiness said he had been long been an admirer of the United States for its role in upholding fundamental values such as democracy and the rule of law. His Holiness also said, as a major power in the free world, the United States can make a special contribution to shaping a more peaceful world by addressing economic challenges, social issues and climate change. Sikyong Pemba Sitting of Central Tibetan Administration and Deputy Speaker of Tibetan Parliament in Exile, Thomas Sitting Tekang, also sent their congratulatory letters to the U.S. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy. Sikyo and the Deputy Speaker expressed deepest and profound gratitude to the people and the government of the United States for the support and assistance given to the Tibetans and the cause of Tibet, placed their hopes in the new Speaker to continue rendering the support. In the light of an unbated operation and systematic control over any expression of Tibetan cultural identity by China, a group of four UN human rights experts have expressed serious concern over the policy of acculturation and assimilation of Tibetan culture in China-occupied Tibet. The UN experts have underlined the residential school system in Tibet as a large-scale program to assimilate Tibetans into majority Han culture in contrast to what China claims. The communication sent originally on 11th November 2022 was made public recently as per established procedures. Representative Tile Chugi, Tibet Bureau Geneva, has welcomed the interventions by the UN experts on this critical matter. The four UN experts who have issued the communication include the UN Special Rapporteur on Minority Issues, a Special Rapporteur in the Field of Cultural Rights, a special rapporteur on the rights to education and the special rapporteur on freedom of religion or belief. On Saturday last week, Sikyong Pembatsering of the Central Tibetan Administration attended the first Tibet festival in Manchukatila as chief guest along with the event's special guest, Srimadhi Rinjan Lamo, a member of the National Commission for Minorities, at the atrium of Delhi-based TCV Day School. The official gathering of the two-day Tibet festival was also attended by Geshe Lardor, the director of the Library of Tibetan Works and Archives, Thuntup Gelpo, the acting representative of Bureau of His Holiness the Dalai Lama Delhi, Dojit Siring, Samya Ling Tibetan Settlements Officer, and Tashi Wangti, president of the Tibetan Chamber of Commerce. Sikyong, in his address, emphasized on the importance of having diversified and thriving Tibetan private commerce. The festival was organized by the Tibetan Chamber of Commerce, the first association of Tibetan businessmen instituted in 2005. On Monday this week, the Central Tibetan Administration convened its first ever Tibetan IT Professionals Conference at Administrative Training and Welfare Society Center. Sikyong Pempatsering, in his inaugural speech, shared his vision for a greater collaboration within the Tibetan community, 
through leveraging existing talent and resources from the community towards the common vision of successfully sustaining in exile until the resolution of Sino-Tibet conflict is not achieved. Kalun Nonzudoma said, by organizing this conference, the administration is looking to understand its youth capacity in the IT field in India. Sikyong Bembasri of the Central Tibetan Administration presided over the inaugural of the two-day conference along with Kalun Nonzudoma, Secretary Kama Chuying, Tibetan Computer Research Center Director Tensi Tsuldim and Geshe Lopsan Mulam of Mulam. The two-day meeting focused on strategizing the future of digitization efforts and strengthen the technical expertise within the Tibetan community to achieve the digital transformation vision of the Central Tibetan Administration by developing a network of Tibetan IT professionals to utilize the limited available resources efficiently. More than 50 Tibetan IT professionals across India took part in the conference. On Saturday last week, Cherik Zingyon Jamyan Lobil Sunday School celebrated the 33rd anniversary of Nobel Peace Prize Day come Children's Cultural Evening event in Brussels. Representative Rinzi Chodin Genkang and Dzogchen Ranya Padu Rinpoche from Tharma City attended the celebration along with a representative from various Belgium-based Tibetan associations. Representative Gengang lauded the efforts of the board of Churik Zingyong and of the teachers for their contribution to the preservation of language and culture for the younger generations of Tibetans and reminded the gatherings to always remember His Holiness' advice of unity and working towards fulfilling his vision. The organization runs six schools with over 372 children in Belgium, namely Antwerp, Brussels, Leuven, Ostend, Ghent, and Bruges. Peja weekly newspaper started by four Tibetan youth based in North America celebrated their one-year anniversary at the office of Tibet, Washington, D.C. The meeting familiarized the younger generation of Tibetans with the current status of Tibet and related information to foster a sense of nationalism in them. Representative Dr. Namke Chudub lauded the noble initiatives and advise the Tibetan millennials to take up the responsibility for the preservation of national identity. Tashi Jeshong, Tenzi Tsidup, Tenzi Yunden, and Tenzi Tsiring are the four Tibetan youths who founded Pecha, and within a year of its establishment, the initiative is gaining momentum and receiving huge appreciation from everyone. On Tuesday this week, Representative Kelsan Gelsenbauer of the Office of Tibet, Taiwan, accompanied by the Secretary and the Administrative Assistants, paid a visit to Taiwanese Legislature Freddie Lim, the Chair of the Taiwanese Parliamentary Group for Tibet, and Ying Chen Liu, a colleague of the group's Vice Chair Hong San Han. During the interaction, Representative Kevza Gensen presented schemes for future campaigns and other activities to which the chair of the Taiwanese Parliamentary Group for Tibet assured his collaboration. He further tabled Tibetans' visa-related issues for consideration while updating the Taiwanese parliamentarians about strengthening relations between Tibetan and Taiwan. Representative made a similar appeal for a visa permit to Yong Konzin, the Minister of Hakka Affairs Council, three days earlier. On the afternoon of 7 January, Representative Baba met with the members of the non-governmental Taiwanese Tibet Support Group and the Standing Committee member of the Tibetan Association in Taiwan and discussed programs for the upcoming Tibetan Uprising Day and Tibetan New Year. On Saturday last week, Representative Dr. Arya Tsawan Gelpo of the Office of Tibet Japan and East Asia presided over the handing and taking over of the outgoing and the new board members of the Tibetan Community Japan at the Tibet House Office. Kaldin Obara, outgoing president of the Tibetan Community, appraised the representative of the cash, assets and pending work handed over to the new president, Tenzi Sherap, and his team. Representative Arya thanked the outgoing 11th board members of their dedicated service in promoting Tibet-related events and working closely with the Office of Tibet. He welcomed and congratulated the new members and said he looked forward to working with them in the coming two years. The new 12th Tibetan community Japan's board member consists of seven members with Tenzi Sherap and Tenzi Kunga as president and vice president respectively.
On Wednesday this week, the Cultural Institute of Radical Contemporary Arts, Circa, in London, premiered its 2023 artwork, The Art of Hope by His Holiness the Dalai Lama, on public billboards in multi-cities across the globe. Lochu Samtin, Secretary of Office of Tibet, London, reported Tibetans and supporters in good numbers braved out on a rainy day to witness the screening of Message of Hope from His Holiness the Dalai Lama on the giant billboard in central London. Representative Sonam Farsi and Secretary Lochu Samtin of the Office of Tibet, London, attended the pre-launch dinner at the Savoy where Sirka founder, artistic director Joseph O'Connor and representative Sonam addressed a room full of journalists and art writers before all of them travelled to Piccadilly Circus to watch the billboard beaming in the colours of Tibetan national flag and His Holiness' divine and calm face. I am trying to promote the sense of oneness of seven billion human beings. This world, we have to live together. So different nationality, different color, different religion. These are secondary. Mostly important we human being. We, sh we should live happily, peacefully. The art video will be screened daily at 2023 hours local time in London, Berlin, Melbourne and Los Angeles until 31st January 2023. That is all for this week. See you in the next episode and have a wonderful weekend.